In the early 1980s, Intel came with the AT51 family of microprocessors or microcontrollers. And in the late 1980s, they came up with this. It's a AT52 uh, microcontroller with the built-in basic. So you could buy a microcontroller from Intel and it came pre-programmed uh, pre with basic and all you had to do was to put it in a box together with other components and make your own basic computer so here we are the whole thing started with this elector article here about the 8052 basic computer elector was or i don't know if it still is but it was a famous uh, electronics uh, magazine in the late 80s, 90s. This uh, issue here is from 1987 and uh, it brought me to the idea there is a chip from Intel with a basic on it and well the rest is history. That's my homebrew computer which I built in about 1990 and uh, well, let's have a look how it works. So first of all, here is the card with the CPU. That's the AT52 with BASIC. It's a copy, that's not the original one. Uh, it has a RAM, static RAM here. It has an EEPROM which can be programmed in the circuit so you can use the EEPROM to store your basic uh, programs. Uh, you can also use an EEPROM, a flash RAM. I decided to use this because I have it around. That's the bus drivers here that drive the address and data bus and some other signals here. This is the RS-232 chip and yes, the MCS BASIC here has a serial port, a serial interface. Uh, of course with TTL level you have to do something to uh, create the proper plus minus 10 volt uh, RS-232 uh, levels. And then a bunch of logic gates that are necessary for everything to work. Um, it also has a PWM output, so you can use it to generate sounds. And it also has a line printer output, that's another serial output. You can set the, the speed, the baud rate, in the basic with a simple command and use that to drive any kind of serial uh, interfaced printer. And of course that's the backside. The, those were the days before uh, you can or could order any PCB from China within a week. So Making a PCB was relatively complicated, so I decided to use these animal wires here. And uh, yeah, it was quite a work, but it still works today, so can't be that bad. The microcontroller here, the AT52, has a complete basic inside, that means you don't need a computer to talk with it. All you need is a dumb terminal or a laptop with a terminal program. Well, back in the mid 80s, that was probably a bit a problem because when you already had a computer, you didn't need this basic computer here. But if you already had a terminal like this, that's the best choice. You built your own computer with a RS-333 uh, interface and you can connect your terminal and play with it. 
And the first thing you have to do is to hit the space button and basic greets you here with the ready message. Uh, the reason why you have to press the space uh, key is uh, the microprocessor here does an auto boat routine so it uh, waits for a space character and then measures the, the bits per second and adapts itself so everything from uh, I think 300 bow to 19,200 works I normally use 9600 that's the standard boat rate for most of the terminals terminals in those days uh, and that works pretty well uh, Another feature I already mentioned was uh, there is an EEPROM inside so you can write your basic program and store it to that EEPROM if you want or you can use a flash memory uh, chip or an EEPROM or whatever um, I stored one program already and to start it I simply say ROM1 the programs are numbered automatically so every time you store one it gets a higher number you have to remember that number because there is no way or no easy way to do a directory listing or a file listing here um, it just says ready so I assume it has loaded the program and I say run and what it does is the following That's just a tiny little program I wrote. It puts random characters, ASCII characters, to this uh, LED display. And I call it word of the day. Because sometimes when you're waiting long enough and you coincidentally look at the display, sometimes there are words that have some meaning or at least part of the word. So if we wait long enough, maybe something funny comes up here. Maybe not. Maybe in a completely different language, which I don't speak. Maybe in Russian, Hungary, Hungarian, uh, or I don't know. Maybe I make another video, 10 hours of random words. If you like, put it in the comments if you want to see that. Or only one hour maybe enough I don't know uh, if there is any moment when this will repeat so well you have to find out and last but not least here is the back side of the system nothing extraordinary there is a little fan which is probably not necessary I fear that the 5 volt regulator could be could go a little bit hot. Uh, that's the RS232 uh, connector. In fact, it's a little bit an overkill to use a 25 pin connector because you only need three wires receive, transmit, and ground. Uh, then we have the PWM output, that's just a TTL level output. So if you want to attach a speaker you need an amplifier to that's the line printer output uh, we already have seen that in action and of course a ground pin I just put some banana plugs here uh, banana connectors here yeah that's it pretty simple And here is the program that I run uh, at the beginning of the video with the sounds and the printer and everything doing something. Uh, it's a pretty simple program. We start with the PWM commands for the individual nodes. 
maybe you uh, recognize the, the tune from Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the movie from the 1980s. Um, then we go to Boat 300, that sets the baud rate for the printer. Then it prints out Hello World, a couple of uh, empty lines to move the paper forward. Uh, and then we have the program that uh, says Hello World, because I don't have enough uh, characters to write Hello World. So XBY 8192, that addresses the first uh, LED display. And it sends 72 to that address, and that is the big letter H from that's the ASCII code 72. Uh, then E is 69, 66, hello, yeah, you know it. And then the program ends, and well, that's it. Uh, by the way, the address is 8192, that's the first address above the ROM and RAM space, so that's the user space, and that's why I was using that one. <laughs>